What's up, everyone? I'm about to break the biggest rule in post-production for film and television. I'm about to update my editing program, Blackmagic DaVinci Resolve, mid-project. I'm working on Transmissions, Volume 1 and 2. I've been working on these two feature films for five years now. Transmission Volume 1 is pretty much done. It's 99.9% .9 done. Transmission Volume 2 is still at the rough cut stage. These are incredibly complex VFX heavy projects with tons and tons of effects and complex color grades, node-based systems. I have fusion effects. I have all sorts of crazy stuff. I have third-party stuff from uh, from Red Giant and uh, tons and tons of sound effects. It's a very complex project with a very complex timeline, but working on this project for five years. Um, I've done major release updates throughout that time, run into a few problems here and there. I've even attempted a few betas kind of in the early stages of this. And sometimes it went really well, sometimes it didn't, but I've been stuck on 16, version 16 of Blackmagic uh, DaVinci Resolve Studio version for a while now. I've reached a point where I need to upgrade to version 17 for a number of reasons, including other projects that I'm working on. So I'm about to make the leap from Resolve 16.2.8, which is pretty old now and I'm going to update to 17.3.2. I've been preparing for this for about a week now. I've done a ton of research. Um, I've backed up everything. I've backed up my project. Uh, I've backed up my disk database. I've backed up all my gallery stills from every single shot in the entire film. Um, and I've done a time machine backup of my Mac. I also have all the install files to revert back if I have to. So if this doesn't work, my timeline is totally screwed up. I can go back. I have a number of solutions to do so, so I'm well prepared, but I'm still super nervous. This is not something that you should do mid-project, but um, I'm going to do it anyway. So uh, here we go. Wish me luck. So I think it worked. I think it worked. It went pretty quick. I didn't have a chance to go through all of it, obviously. I came back here to, to tell you. So now I'm going to spend uh, the next couple of evenings uh, going through and auditing the entire timeline and the entire project. I'm going to see if anything is missing, if anything is unlinked, if any of my effects are missing. One thing that I didn't mention before I did the upgrade is I actually rendered out my current timeline. I rendered it out in uh, ProRes 4444. So I'm going to be able to import that back in and I can use that as a reference for my entire timeline in the highest quality available. And I'll be able to uh, make sure that all my, uh, my color grades are still there. All my effects are lining up frame by frame and nothing got screwed up in, in the upgrade. But so far it's looking really, really good. You know, it's a large calculated risk to go from two major releases mid project. Um, so you have to decide if it's worth it or not. But hopefully if you're doing this, um, I've given you kind of some ideas of what you can do to back up your stuff. Uh, it's probably never overkill. All those backups that I did for this, if everything is fine, uh, were totally unnecessary, but um, it's better to be well prepared than to lose all your work. And uh, no one likes to lose all their work. So thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.